this is a bit of a project that will keep rolling on for a while. We've got a box of chainsaw here, something I came upon a while ago and it just got put to one side. Well now the knights are drawing in, we can start to have a look at it. Just looking at the bar, it's warmed up in a few places and it's got some burrs on it. But generally it's not too bad, so that's worth having. The chain is pretty good. It's uh, I can't see what make it is. It's a steel chain. So it's but it's a Pico chain, almost new. All the corners have been dinged off though. So it won't file him back quite a long way. And there's some big guard links on it. But it'll be alright. It'll probably take half an hour with a file just to get it right. So what else have we got in this box? Obviously somebody's taken a chainsaw apart at some point. It's obviously done quite a lot of work because there's a huge amount of muck here. I think what we ought to really do now is zoom in. So as I was saying, there's a lot of muck here, so this saw has done a reason amount of work. Look at that. Yeah, it takes a while for a build up like that. Looking around, the threads seem to be alright. Chain brake seems to be okay, yeah. And the oil pumps there, and I'm going to talk about oil pumps later on. That it's there. Ignition units there, fuel caps are there. What date is it? It's a it's an O two three MS sorry, MS two three O and it's two thousand and seven. So as far as I'm concerned, it's nearly new. So put that to one side. What else have we got? We've got the rear handle and the trigger assembly and the cross shaft for the trigger is there and the trigger seems to work and the dead man seems to work as well so that's fine. Bolts look alright. Um, Anti-vibration is there and Quite a lot of the time, this bit here melts away, especially if a saw has been you know, abused, thrashed, um, used with a blunt chain, so therefore the poor old engine is just revving away like mad. And of course, when you've got a blunt chain, it offers less resistance, so therefore the engine will, will rev away. Um, which everything gets roasting hot. So, but that's not too bad. You know, we can cope with that. Subframe assembly. Yep, that looks complete. It's not broken here, which is a common fault. Okay, good. Where are we going to put that? Over there. Exhaust. It's not battered, so there's no dings in and everything. It all looks quite good. Air filter top casing. Yep. That's alright. Right, what else have we got? Here's the cylinder. Now, to all the put your better glasses on. Spark plug threads look alright. There's a bolt in there that I recognise, but I can't remember what it's for. Ah, oh, that's the earth. Yes, yeah, so that's there. And then feeling inside the cylinder, especially round about near the ports, it actually feels alright. There's a little, just a very slight little ding in the exhaust port. Now these these cylinders they're aluminium 
and they're chromed. But there's no cast iron liner in there or anything like that. It's just a chrome straight on the aluminium. So when they wear, that's it. You can't do anything with them. But this one actually looks quite good. There's a couple of little marks around the transfer port, but nothing that you would go, ooh, that's dodgy. Okay, so that looks promising. That's the heat shield for in front of the carburetor. I'm glad that's there. This is the bottom of the crankcase. Of course, on these, the cylinder doesn't come off the crankcase like on the uh, the professional model stills. So you take the bottom off, and then the whole crank and the piston come out. And the the, uh, the bearings fit in little housings, and so do the seals. And then you just glue it all back together again. So that's all right. This is like Christmas. There's the uh, air filter inlet. Air filter goes on the top of their carburetors here. Yep. Uh, this is the side case, and remarkably, the chain catcher is still intact. Normally they're broken across there. That little pin goes in that little hole there and it's intact which is amazing because normally that's one of the first things to go. Can you see how that goes in there? So that's good news. The heat shield this goes between the cylinder and the exhaust. So the cylinder, it goes something like that, and then the exhaust fits there like that. The exhaust pointing away from the operator. Yeah, that's good. Starter. Yep, yeah, uh, the starter pole looks in good condition, as does the cord. There's no wear there, but loads of muck and a bit of gunk here. So it's been used fairly hard, this saw, but maybe maybe used is the wrong expression. Maybe abused is the right expression. Ha! There's the tutor. There's the carburetor. I've not yet found why this saw was why this saw stopped and why somebody took it apart. So if it was the carburetor, people won't take it apart this much if it was just the two the carburetor. Right. Sprocket. That's not a bad col uh, condition sprocket. There is a bit of wear there, but you know, I've seen a huge lot worse. There's not a lot of a ding. That's fairly new. So obviously it was a saw that was running quite well and oiling properly. It's a proper still one. Quite a lot of build-up of muck, though. So. Clutch. All three springs are intact. I'm assuming it's the right one. Yep. Air filter. Washable one. Nylon washable. And it's quite clean. You know, normally you would find these all bunged up with muck and some halfway had adjusted the carburetor to suit a mucky air filter. So it's clean. Amazing. Uh, what else have we got here? That's the oil pump guard, I think. Yep. So that goes underneath there, like that. And this is the flywheel, and the Woodruff key still in there. And the flywheel 
got no fins missing, which is a good uh, good uh, indicator, because you can get idiots who put um, um, a screwdriver or something in there to to lock the the crank so that they can undo this and of course it just breaks the fin off and then everything's out of balance so we're looking quite good so far right here's the crank with the bearings there's a bit of there's a bit of rock there side side to side rock so one might um, replace those and the well the seals don't look bad but you can't really tell unless they're incredibly worn ah ah ha right I think we'll need a close up of this the rings seem reasonably free ok now the pins are at the back of the piston so that is the exhaust side and normally if you had a seizure it seizes on the exhaust point so you get a loads of sort of bits of metal aluminium all the way along the front here but the rings are actually free but you've got a groove there in the face of the piston okay and there's a groove at the back here so has anything has a, has a screw come out of the uh, the butterflies of the of the carburetor no that screws there and that screws there so screws haven't come out so it's a lump of something that's been flirtling around So let's just see what the big end's like. It feels ah, it's awful. It's rocking around like a a very rocky thing. You might not hear that. But that big end, I think one of the rollers or a bit of the cage has broken up and come flying out gone up the transfer port and got tangled in with the piston I had a 036 oh, a few years ago now well I picked it up and uh, it wasn't running took it apart and there was a huge amount of slot on the big end and on the inlet side of the skirt of the piston there was a hole a neat little hole and obviously a roller had come out got trapped somehow poked a hole straight through there so right the crank is that's it forget it the cranks had it what else have we got in there so I might, I might have a crank upstairs in the loft in which case this may be a viable project and somebody's put all the bits in a bag so let's see what we've got here that I can recognise that is a uh, clutch roller good that's the clutch uh, washer and that's the third clip that's the sprocket washer and third clip yeah those two that's good they're the exhaust bolts with those square heads because they go in those slots like that which is great you know because on, on the earlier huskies stuff like that it was threaded in there and you know, slightly come loose where the thread it's pain in the neck whereas this if you get a problem with the bolt you can just put a new one in excellent that's a couple of the rubber mounting slugs there's the side case bolts that's the worm and drive 
and the end of that not that drive locates in in that notch there on the clutch drum and it wears and that is not very well worn so spark plug that bit there is goes it holds the this rubber apart so it pushes in there like that and that bit there that's the vacuum pipe which will go which will attach to that little pipe there and that vacuum then goes through this molding and out to the carburetor just there and it makes the diaphragms work what else have we got I should know what that is ah oh, yeah that's that's the the bolt that holds the uh, flywheel on the nut that holds the flywheel on so here's the carburetor control rods that's the throttle one and that little short one's the uh, the choke now these are dead easy to fit if you know how otherwise the right royal pain then we've got four bolts long bolts there which of course hold the bottom of the crankcase on and hold the crank in place and the crank seals then we want four bolts that look like they'll be equal length for the starter recoil starter then some bolts that go down the middle of the anti-vibration mount etc and holding the the main frame on the top handle so there we go it seems like it's all there now there's just a slight anomaly with this saw in so much as the huge amount of muck that's around the flywheel says it's done quite a lot of work the bar chain and sprocket tell me they've been replaced at some time recently so it was a nice running saw everything was running alright they did some maintenance and spent some money on it and then I suspect a part of the um, the big end cage broke away got entangled with a piston and that was the end of that so if I can find a crank in the box upstairs we may very well have the makings of a good saw so watch this space for the next enthralling episode <laughs>